Hey guys, Nico here. Welcome back to another video. This time around Mexico, uh, PSGL I think is round uh, 13. Um, and as you can see here in the standings, we are P3, 14 points behind Yarno, 13 points behind our teammate Barry in P2. Uh, so we are definitely in the mix. And with a good race here, we can definitely jump in the, uh, towards the top with them. Uh, and also for the Constructor Championship, me and Barry are leading the way 22 points ahead. So uh, we have a good, good lead for the last couple of races. Uh, but we're going to look to also win the driver championship, of course. Um, everyone wants to do that. So, Mexico. Uh, I won here in WR, so it's a good track for me. Um, so, and the pace looked to, looked good in practice. Uh, Barry's as well. So, definitely looking to get a one-two or you know a good finish as a team. Uh, as we jump into Q1, um, I think we have some rain forecasted for the quality session, but we don't exactly know when that's going to come. Uh, so that's something we need to watch out for later on. Uh, as we go through sector 1, not the best cut into turn 2. The car started sliding a bit, so definitely lost a little bit of time. But nothing too major here. 4, 8, sector 1. So I think we're actually towards the... Actually, no, we are the lowest wings once again. I don't know how many races in a row now we have the lowest wings in qualifying. Uh, I guess it's just a recurring theme now. Uh, but anyway, uh, into, on to sector 2. Uh, the S's, which are, or I think, already flat out. Um, oh, I, I did tiny lift there, but I think it's mainly for the for the line. But you can already take them flat out in Q1. Um, no problems there. On to sector three here, point two one split. So we're looking for a mid high zero lap time with a good last sector, uh, which is which should be comfortably through um, into Q2 with one set of tires. As last corner, a little bit of a I don't know, bit of a. Uh, correction, uh, but we do a 0 8, which puts us provisionally P1. But our teammate Bari uh, oh. then goes P1 with a 0.9. Um, we decide to go out again, but purely for the fact because we know we're gonna have rain, uh, we know that I don't need all these soft tires for qualifying, so I might as well just you know better be safe than sorry and just be even more warmed up in case we do have another uh dry to wet qualifying where we have to do a one shot and. You know, it's all on the line. <clears throat> so definitely staying just, I don't know, warmed up on the track with this extra lap. Um, as we lose a lot, a lot, a lot of time in the last sector because I just, yeah, I made a few mistakes. The lap was looking very good. Probably, well, actually, easily should have been P1. Um, but it's okay. There was no, no need to risk anything. Out, 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 out. Out, out, Straight away. Soft, soft, soft. Go, 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 go. When, when will it rain? So yeah, as you can see here, um, we jump into Q2 like and the engineers are telling us to straight away go out the pits nice. because Box. rain is coming. Nice. As you can see, we're all bunched up here at the end of the Sector 3 before starting our lap. Uh, and we have no tire temperature. Um, so this, this is the compromise that you have to take in these situations. You either go for track positions, as I kind of did, um, or you go for tire temperature, which means you're going to be one of the last ones to go out. And... As you can see here, it starts raining really? as I start my lap. So we have plenty many cars ahead of us, which are already through to sector two now, and they didn't have the as much rain as we do throughout the lap. So, but luckily for us, there's also many cars behind us, which have will have more rain in their lap. So if I just p can manage to put a clean lap on the board, I should be through. Um, but also one thing to keep in mind is being in the Ferrari. Um, we are like one of the, we're the first, there's the second ones after Red Bull uh, in the pits. So it takes us way longer to get out of the pits. And we were almost last coming out uh, for our outlap. And on my, on my outlap, when I was preparing my, uh, my tires, I had to overtake five, six cars uh, trying to get track position. And that means I started my lap with genuinely so much lower tire, uh, tire temperature than I should normally. And that cost me a lot of time in sector one, as I think I was two tenths down on my teammate in sector one, whilst he was behind me. So he actually had more rain, a worse condition track, and he did a way faster sector one than us. So um, that was an ideal, but back in the time, back then I, I had no idea. I had no clue what people's times were looking like. So we're just gonna set a lap here on the board and it's provisionally P7. But as you're gonna see, people are gonna start improving and beating me. And we actually end up outside the top 10. We are P12. Um, honestly, I don't know. I expected to be through. I didn't, to be fair, I should have pushed more. I really was under the limit. I didn't want to risk 
and so Paris, but yeah Discord it is what it is we're P p12 our teammate is p2 you, uh, i think lucas blakely starting on pole so mm, our championship contenders are up the front yarno as well so not not the best scenario but we're gonna try and make the most of it here um we're gonna start on the hard tires wilson huge on the soft so i'm pretty sure we're gonna let him buy straight away as he's not he's not in a fight with us um but yeah using ers keep track position here very crucial we're almost three, well, many three wide cars ahead. As we just need to keep our nose clean. And Barry has an incident there with, I don't remember, I think it was Thomas Great. and Jake. Thomas. They were three wide. Focus on Barry. Just... So Barry's now P6. So he's lost four places in the first corner. So that's a very bad start from uh, from him. I mean, unfortunate. As here, Wilson oh, defends and puts me on the curb. And we're just all side by side. Uh, very tight here. As Wilson tries to go down the inside of Alvaro, but stops and Freddy takes damage. Pushes me wide because we're three wide on the double right and I get an invalid overtake. Uh, so I'm trying to let him pass here. I lift a little bit, but I lift a little bit too much. And Marcel hits me. And I think he got wing damage as well as Fabrizio. Um, I, my reasoning here is, well, obviously I had an illegal overtake, but um, I, I, was, I lifted trying to be side by side with freddy i wanted to be side by side with freddy but he just went straight he just didn't continue racing and that meant that i i, don't, I yeah, didn't know i, I don't know, know i didn't know what to do i apologized I obviously know. to uh, marcel Did afterwards I, like um, no, I, I lifted too much no, no, um, no. i didn't like intentionally break or anything but trying to break check people i was genuinely looking at freddy and wanted to be side by side with him to give the position back um but yeah, it just didn't work out. As we jump onto lap six, because nothing happened until then, and we tried to make a move on Ismail Fassi as he defends very, uh, very aggressively there. Um, we're gonna get his no, slipstream, but he has, I think, a yes. bit higher wings than me, so uh, we are up on Australian speed, as you can see here. We try to go around the outside here, and ha with, that means we have the inside for the next corners. We wheel bang a little bit, but nothing too uh bad there and then we have the inside for the double right and he just has to seat position um yeah i mean move we made a move on ismail now it's time to catch back the drs of alvaro straight away because we do not want to be without the drs that is something you, to make sure you, when you cannot you get afford um in uh, in league racing anyway we jump on to lap 12 and wilson has completely dropped uh with these soft tires uh, I th he just has absolutely no grip at all so, easy pass on him. Didn't even have to use any ERS. Um, yeah, easy moves. Uh, I think he'll be dropping even further. If, or maybe he will pit earlier. I'm not sure what he's going to do. But, crucially, yes. Barry had a fight with Wilson when Wilson was uh, like um, struggling with the tires. And that means they, complete, they lost five seconds to the leading group. That means the gap yes, from well the, well, the so train in P1 and us is so big, which means it's basically DRS race over unless right. something happens. I mean, six seconds is so big, and without the DRS, Barry just couldn't catch. Like, Danny Barry's name just uh, didn't push uh, with Barry together to catch up. Um, so as you can see, the gap on the minimap there is enormous, and catching that is basically impossible. Um, but anyway, Lucas and Alfie pitted way earlier for mediums, so they have a huge undercut on everyone. As the top three, or the, the three ahead of me, um, start uh, pitting again, uh, John can also uh, me and Alvaro yeah. are going to work together to go, go long on to, into the race. We're on lap 21, me and Alvaro are finally coming into the pit, so we're going to have much, much fresher tires right. than everyone. Um, I think th we're going to be three laps fresher than Barry, Danny, and Josh, and then like four, five, six, seven, eight laps fresher Sunny, than all the guys ahead of them. So we're going to have much bigger grip advantage and we can just need to see when we're going to catch them, honestly. And as you can yes. see, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, look at the minimap. The, the Ahas, that's yeah, where Alfie and Lucas are. They are they're already out of turn three. I mean, they are so far ahead and it's kind of crazy to me that we're supposed to be catching them. So... Um, somehow we have to make that work. Me and Alvaro are gonna swap literally every single lap. Um, thankfully, he, he he was a good well team player per se. Um, we work together every single lap. We'll swap, save ERS, still go faster than the train ahead. Um, and we just need to be patient now. We cannot do anything else. Uh, and Barry's still having some issues with Wilson. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, as you can see, our, the gap is coming down very, very fast. Uh, I think 13 laps left when we are four or five seconds behind the, the pack. Defi so we should definitely catch them easily. Um, 
but I don't think we'll catch the top train because the top train, as I said before, sure, Danny, was already six seconds ahead before the pit stops. So that's another six seconds more that we are supposed to be catching in this stint, which is just not going to happen with a grid like this. Um, yeah. But anyway, we jump on to lap 26. Wilson, again, struggling on the tires because he undercut super early and we're going to get an easy double move on... Wil Actually, no, we're not going to gonna get a double move. We're going to just pass Wilson, stay behind Alvaro. And the reason why is because I just wanted to slingshot past Alvaro uh, and maybe catch Ruben, um, which we do a few laps later. We completely catch the train with way fresher tires. So this is our opportunity to get past all that. As you can see, Lucas Blakely, he was P1. Started on the softs, put on the mediums, and he's now P9 with no ERS, struggling with, I think, eight or nine laps older tires than us. Um, he's basically dead, basically. I mean, he has no grip at all. Ruben and Yoni, no ERS. I don't even need to use my ERS to get past the both of them. Such are my wings. Um, very low wings, so thankfully I had those. Um, so, double move here, and we're now into P10 behind, I think, well five cars which are way older tires and way slower than us so four laps to go we can still get a top five finish or a top six finish um that's for sure so here lucas with no ers you see he's flashing we're gonna i don't even need to use my ers to get alongside him um i didn't think he was gonna defend it that hard seeing as he had eight laps oh, older tires um but he does he he goes he goes deep holds a position and um, we couldn't we couldn't switch back him um, I mean, fair play. He's, he's defending as hard as he can. I mean, he, he has every right to do so. Um, he doesn't. He's not. He's not obliged to give me the position just because I have fresher tires. I mean, um, yeah, it is what it is. He's just defending for his life, and this is really bad because we lost so much time behind him. We actually lost two laps behind him, uh, which I mean, fair enough. He somehow defended that long, but I just didn't want to use all my ERS to get past him. I just. Really wanted some ERS for the end as he still tries to hold it around the outside here, but we give him just a little bit of space um, and we get past him. Uh, but unfortunately, there's only one and a half laps left and I have no ERS and we're outside of the DRS. <laughs> so, not ideal. As Lucas once again tries to go around the outside, but we just give him absolutely no room this time and we go wide and Alvaro gets past. Yeah, Alvaro gets past, pushes me off. I get a penalty, but don't worry, guys. It got okay, removed at the end of the race. Um, it wasn't. All my warnings were not valid warnings. We're all just fighting, pushing off warnings. So all good with that. But that means last lap, Alvaro is the only car that we're gonna fight. Oh Everyone is too far ahead. Easy moves with the DRS. He is basically a sitting duck. Um, yeah, I mean, the race went how it went. I mean, I think Barry is gonna finish P5. That incident Barry had and that gap that created in the first stint really changed the whole outcome of the race. It really did. The strategies couldn't have been. Uh, there was no sorry. There was no strategy that would have put us back in that train and f fight for the win because of that gap purely at the start. So it is what it is. We're gonna finish P10, I think, after post race penalties as well because obviously I got a penalty for what I did with Marcel at the end. I think it's pro yeah probably probably deserved to be honest. I mean I didn't. Um, on, managed the situation the best, um, no, no, but also Freddy could have continued racing. I mean, I, I didn't yeah, expect him to just go straight. Race, but anyway, we're P10. This is not good for our championship uh, like championship a... hopes. We score, I think, one point. Viarno, so the championship leader, wins the race, so he builds up a gap on Bari and us. And post race, actually, yeah, no, Brendan actually got P2, well. so he's also going to jump us in the championship. So I think we're now P4. But yeah. We still have two races left. Nothing's over. We can still get top three. Uh, I think Barry and Yarn are just a bit too far ahead. Hopefully, Barry can catch up to Yarn in the next few in the next races. Um, but yeah, I think we're still gonna go for the podium spot alongside our teammate. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next race, which should be China. All right, ciao guys. Hope you have a good weekend.